What's up guys, it's me Vivi and welcome back to some Ratchet and Clank. Now I don't know about you guys, but I'm super hyped up for the game. The game's getting released in two days, I can't wait. And I finally had the chance to try out the demo. Like you should have seen my face at Best Buy. <laughs> Anyways, community lead James Stevenson at Insomniac Games had a European tour. And Ratchet Galaxy, a French fan site for everything Ratchet and Clank, held a session where fans had the chance to try the game in France and share their thoughts. And during that session, there was an interview with James Stevenson. Now this interview was posted like a month ago. I know I should have posted this early, but due to scheduling and posting other videos, I guess this video kind of went to the bottom of the list. Okay, with that being said, James Stevenson actually shared a few extra info and I thought you guys might like to know about it. Now a lot of us know that there was a delay for the game. Now this probably had to do with the movie being produced simultaneously with the game. And during the delay, they basically polished the game. They didn't necessarily add new levels. However, the idea of the D-pad came in. The D-pad is basically similar to the shortcut menu for speedrunners and hardcore fans, and Somniac Games decided to add that in. Cause you know, why waste a couple of seconds using the shortcut menu, right? <laughs> A lot of fans have been wondering if the new game will be on par with A Kraken Time. Now Stevenson explained that A Kraken Time was the end of the future trilogy, which it was. Now since A Kraken Time was considered the finale, a deep story was to be expected. And fans are wondering if the new game will have such a deep story. Now look, the new game has to do with the original, right? The story involves Drek and Ratchet meeting Clank. So if you guys have played the original, then you know that the story is a lot more simple. Now of course, some elements are kind of different compared to the original, like adding Nefarious, but the story should be very similar, let's say, to the classic game. According to Stevenson, some elements are different. We have new twists and surprises. Like I said, the story is kind of similar to the classic, however, the story's progression will be different. Some fans might actually be super surprised about it. Now due to spoilers, I won't go into detail. According to Stevenson, their initial idea was to basically remaster the original game, where they just update the game and visuals and graphics. That's pretty much it. However, in the end, they decided to just come up with something new and change everything. Here's the tricky part according to Insomniac. Since the movie was being produced simultaneously with the game, they decided to make the game based off the movie. And since it's based off the movie, they can't just simply redo everything they did in the original. Here's another interesting thing that was mentioned during the interview. The situation's pretty simple. The movie has an opportunity to grab the attention of a whole new bunch of audience. And plus, since the story of the new game is based on the beginning, it's easy for fans to understand the story. People who've never had the chance to try Ratchet and Clank, now's their chance. And if sales do pretty good and if the and if the box office does pretty well, then a sequel might perhaps be in the works, who knows. I mean look, Insomniac loves Ratchet and Clank, they have a soft spot for the game. And according to Stevenson, this shouldn't be the last adventure of Ratchet and Clank. This could apply for the movie or the game itself. And basically, if the movie and game do super well, then the series might expand even more. And this kind of applies to the situation of Sly 5. Now, we don't know what's going on with the Sly Cooper movie. We're basically expecting a delay. Now if the movie does pretty well, then I guess Sly 5 could be possible. For the future of Ratchet and Clank, fans shouldn't worry when it comes to story. Stevenson explained that Insomniac Games comes up with a bunch of ideas on the spot. They never stick to one plan, they basically brainstorm a bunch of ideas and put them together and come up with something amazing. Okay, some of you probably disliked All For One or Full Frontal Assault, but you know what I mean. Here's another interesting thing mentioned during the interview. Fans have been wondering if the series might continue from the new game or from Into the Nexus. Look, Stevenson explained that Insomniac currently doesn't have a specific plan for the series. They don't know if they'll continue the series after the new game or after Into the Nexus. I mean, they could continue from where they left off, with the whole Lombax's story and all. So I guess only time will tell about the continuation of the story. So maybe in the future, the story will be post Into the Nexus. I'd personally love to have a post game after Into the Nexus. I mean, I really enjoyed the story of the future trilogy with the Lombaxes, Ratchet's parents. And if they dive into that again, the, story, the series might expand even more. That's for sure. Now recently, there was PlayStation Underground Ratchet and Clank, where James Stevenson was basically playing Ratchet and Clank. And during the playthrough on Blackwater City, he shared more stuff. According to him, Insomniac Games always wanted to come up with a movie. Who knows when they planned the movie, it could have been years ago. And once they wanted to come up with a new game, they decided to make the story based off the movie. It's as simple as that. And look, it's the very first Ratchet and Clank game on the PS4. It's gonna attract a whole new bunch of audience. And the story is basically the beginning, so, so people shouldn't worry about the story at all. 
Okay, now during the playthrough, it was explained that the 2002 version of Ratchet and Clank was very crude, that's what Stevenson said, where the game had a lot more hidden adult jokes. People might be afraid that the new game might be too childish. However, I don't think so. I, th I think it's gonna appeal to both a young audience and an adult audience. And even if the game feels too different than the original, like jokes and all, that's not gonna make me hate the game at all. And people who've never tried Ratchet and Clank, they might think that the jokes are too cheesy. I'd call them Ratchet and Clank jokes. If you've played every game or a bunch of games, then you'd basically understand these jokes. Okay, about the new game. We have planets we already know and locations. And we have brand new enemies. And according to Stevenson, the new game will have 60 minutes of new cutscenes and 20 minutes of movie cutscenes. Now, does 60 minutes of more cutscene mean that the new game will be a lot longer than the original? I wouldn't be too sure about that, but hopefully the game will have a nice amount of gameplay time. Plus, if the game feels too short, then we have trophies to consider, right? Now, we know that Ratchet was kind of a jerk to Clank in the original, and according to the community lead, they've kind of softened it a bit, where some plot elements will be the same, but some situations will occur differently. And before I finish this video guys, a lot of you have been wondering whether or not Planet Orxon will be returning. Now we know that Insomniac Games has been mixing a bunch of planets together, let's take Hoven and Batalia for example. Hoven was snowy in the original, and Batalia was rainy. Now Batalia had Fort Kortos in the original. Now if you've watched the gameplays, you realize that Fort Kortos is actually on Batalia, and the place looks snowy, so basically the two planets have been mixed together. And Orkson in the classic game was Drek's homeworld, where everything was polluted. And according to Insomniac, Orkson has been mixed with Planet Quartu, the robot factory. So if you've been wondering about Planet Orkson, there you go. And with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you have any concerns or thoughts, leave them in the comments. And as usual, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. So I guess I'll catch you guys next time.